Let's take a look at backyard valve work here. And we're going to look at replacing the valves, guides, valve guides. And I have a, I got an Echotech head here. This is a LE5 2.4. And I measured the guides are over spec. Um, they should be like 236, and they're over, you know, 236.4 and they're about 237.4 and then along with that are the valves uh, which are pretty much at the minimum specification for the diameter um, so being that this is a race vehicle and that kinda it, this vehicle is going to be abused for sure so we're gonna have to make sure that everything's sealing perfect so I have um, the valves are ground. This is a for porting purposes, so that's clearance for porting. This is a, a junk valve. Um, you can see I've even this grinding. That's not dirt. That's pitting. Uh, so that's why. But I have my other valves ground, and I have a kneeway cutter set. So that allow me to freshen up. Freshen up the seats. So if I so if I ground my valves and I'm going to redo the seats, then the guides better be freaking perfect and they're not very good at all. Uh, so they need to be replaced. And uh, see, there's uh, these mandrel tools, and you can you want to match your valve stem with some clearance there, and then make sure that this doesn't hit the guide. So you can see I took this old punch and put it in the lathe, and I laid this down. Before that, I had to heat this up. Uh, I, I chucked this in the lathe here and just turned it slowly, and then torched this to anneal it and make it soft. I, I did try to drill it and it w with a high-speed steel center drill and it wasn't doing anything. So I was like, yep. Okay. And uh, you can see here, this is just for protection. Um, it was, so since I only annealed here, this was getting difficult to machine. I actually had to gr take a file here to file that down to clearance that so I don't damage the bore and then this is just some capped on tape so that uh, when it gets to this larger knurled section it's not going to damage the the head the bore the, the the receiving bore for the guide in the head so this is kind of the last resort cushion uh, but the the guide will pop out when we're about this deep uh, but there is some clearancing issues there okay so let's remove a valve a guide Okay, so here's that guide. Looks like it's symmetrical here. Here's that mandrel. So you can see this diameter is smaller than this diameter, and that pushes it out. 
Um, this just helps center that air hammer and this kind of acts like a little spring here but the assumption is these are garbage so you don't need this elaborate setup here so let's go over this elaborate setup right. um, okay so you can see here this is brass it's a brass fitting and that is a um, uh, aluminum 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 just the aluminum an aluminum rod aluminum that's correct uh, aluminum mpt bung so this is stuff i had around these washers here you can see they're this is a six millimeter stem so this is most certainly a quarter inch so i actually grabbed these <clears throat> if i remember right 2007 they're gonna throw these out at some facility i was working so i grabbed these never used them uh, they're in a little baggie and I thought you know those thick washers this might be the perfect application okay so we got our brass this is just like a you can see it's messed up some, some trash so you can see here the the purpose of this is to keep this centered so that we don't go offset so then our forces are gonna be asymmetrical so this this helps assist keeping that in the center and then there's another metal washer and then there's more um, masking tape under this to again keep this centered and um, and then this washer here I put a small chamfer uh, with it uh, before I installed this because the the stem gets a little wider so I actually grabs on there pretty good okay so the point of this the science is it's these two are acting as springs to protect this centered or even a bronze one, but centered might, some of them might be brittle. Um, so these spaces are needed to clear the head when installing this. Um, so probably go with five here. And then this gives it maximum stability because this, this clearance is very close to the new uh, guide, but this is a used guide. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so we can see why I had to space that because this, this is going to hit right here the the cam bearing journal right here in the corner this is going to hit that so that's why I have that spacer so much so we're going to start it with a hammer fortunately it's pretty easy okay so that gets it straight and then we can carefully send it home <clears throat> 